Pour that tea. Mm, you motherfucking bitch. Gonna pour this sweet Chinese tea. China, China, China tea. tea. <laughs> I love it. It's from China. China tea. Oh, Dan's pouring us some lovely China tea. Guys, welcome to Belly Hanging, the uh, latest and greatest climbing podcast coming out of the northwest of England. My name's Peter. My name's Danko Henry Winter Bear. Danko Henry Winter Bear. This tea looks great, Dan. I'm not adding it. We've started a new podcast. It's all about we want to taste the tea. I burnt my mouth. <laughs> oh, so hot. And then related to climb. Oh, you meant that on purpose. I've actually burnt my mouth now. Hope so. How are you doing, Petey? <laughs> I'm amazing, Dan. I'm having a lovely day, lovely week. Um, this is just personal business, but work has gotten very busy. Oh, and, <laughs> and I'm very happy about that. Oh, wow. Um, tra- training's going well. Training? Training's going well. Doing lots of yoga, but then mixing it with actual hard sessions. So feeling just very strong. Feeling zen. Feeling zen. And you know what I love about yoga is how uh, fit it makes me feel. It makes me feel really strong because the hardest thing you do in yoga is like a half a push up. Breathe. Mm, breathe. Actually, though, there are really hard poses that we do. But um, compared to climbing, it's not as intense. So it's I, quite, I hope you so. feel really strong. Yeah. Like climbing's like putting your body into some uncomfortable and position you can. And I wear my little tight skinny Are you allowed to wear them there? Yeah. And I just love wearing them. It's hot yoga in it you do. Yeah, it's well hot. Tell um, well hot, mate. Tell people what hot yoga is. Is it yoga in a hot room? No, so hot yoga is when uh on, you're only allowed in if you're if you're hot. Eight out of ten. Ah. Oh. So I wasn't allowed in for a while. I, I, uh, for a long time. Yeah. Um and then That's I still wasn't allowed in. I'd bribed the bouncer explains why I've never had an invite yeah, well you've got to be invited yeah yeah so it's on an app it's called hot oh. yoga <laughs> hot yoga oh, um, I've never had an invite yeah well you could I think you've got to know someone on the inside I know everyone yeah so you're doing yoga you're climbing yeah. you're doing all that jazz works good that's good yeah. that's important so, to know how are you Dan oh yeah I'm really good yeah works good <laughs> works good yeah works you're good you're enjoying work yeah I enjoy work that's good um, I enjoy the other bits more though you know the um, the off bits the off bits the off bits the off cuts the off cuts of work yeah you know so you're not in there yeah you're still you're still employed by them yeah you're still getting paid but you well, then like on a crag. Yeah, on a crag, in a crag. Yeah, in, in around a crag. crag. Yeah. Find a nook. Yeah. So your recent adventures to um, roaches have left you very um, motivated. Motivated and in love with the place. Yeah, I really with, with gritstone, it feels like as well. I I'm a bit all about the gritstone. Right now, all these yeah, I'm stuff. it. Yeah, it's so the place back, to get your technical. Loved it? it. Yeah. And then and then I've just realised that you know. When I came back off the roaches, I decided to look at all these videos. Yeah, yeah. And like, I was just looking at the climbing nomads, climbing there. Uh, okay, blah, yeah. Is this a YouTube channel? Yeah, climbing nomads? I just, I just wanted because I was doing this dino. Yeah. The undercut dino, and I'm, and no exaggeration, half an inch from getting it. Yeah. But I spent seven like B. Th- seven B dino. I spent seven like B dino. I spent like thirty attempts jumping the wrong way, <laughs> and then I figured it out. And then I just watched one guy's video, and it was like, oh yeah, yeah, do it that way. So I'm gonna go back fresh, and hopefully it's, it's a, it's a goner. Hopefully, oh, it's going. It's, it's going. It's going. But like, send train it. Send train the bastard. Well, we need the Dino Club there. We oh need God. me, you, the Big Ben, who was on. Can't remember what TJ. podcast he was on. We need TJ, Thomas jo- Johnson. We just need the big boys that like to jump and dead hard. And there's three. Yeah. Di- there's three or four dinos there. So we could just have a dino. But then I tried um, stretching mantle, and then on that same video mm. of someone doing that, I was trying it the complete wrong way yeah you need it sometimes at these places you kind of need the guru for some of the stuff so man you know how you go at it if effectively from the right hand side going yeah. in yeah, yeah i was going from the other way oh man it's horrific i could never ever if you could do it that way yeah it's probably harder oh, like man. it's so far away and i fell doing it uh, and got hurt scared scared yeah and, well, and then friends. when that happens it, you need friends around so what's the climb and the video of someone doing it looks awesome yeah it's such a cool climb such a cool climb love it but it's my favourite climb in the peaks I think so I've been uh, to, that I've done I've been to Roaches you You've went been to there Roaches. beautiful we a, night with we had a, before we get on to our recent day out um, let's t- I just feel like because this is the start of the podcast four minutes in I quite like having banter about not po- not climbing things sometimes and you often ask me three things about me I did that last week with you what is the kindest thing you've done over the past week 
Me? I've never <laughs> done anything kind. <laughs> Shut up. Never? You do. No, I haven't. I've seen, I've seen you slow down, um, slow down for a dog once. Yeah? Yeah, you yeah. didn't hit a dog. Slow pretty down, kind. that's pretty you kind. You usually hitting them? Yeah. It's because you're in the car. So the reason I asked this is actually, do you know those cards that I have? Those, um, uh, yeah. Those cards that has, so I bought these cards from, I saw them at, uh, on Instagram, and every day they, you pick a card out of this deck of cards, and it has something to do that day, and it's always like a nice thing, or just something to improve something with yourself, or just something, and I had one yesterday that was do a, ran- do a completely selfless act, and I got all confused and what to do because everything the card is paradoxical everything I do is going to be purely to finish that card off so I can go to the next card so it's not going but to be maybe selfless. an opportunity will arise yeah without thinking about the card and then I'll just do it yeah I'm a really selfish person though so. I've thought I do loads but I just can't be bothered talking about them I'm just okay. a, I'm, I'm a legend <laughs> um, trust some, me trust some me of them guys. I'm paid for but then some <laughs> of them I'm not yeah, yeah but yeah how about you have you done anything kind ever um, so recently I thought I, the reason I didn't put the card back in the deck is because I didn't think it counted but you know I'm, you know, I'm do all that breakdown stuff um, I don't do it anymore but they asked me to make them a poster for a recent for an upcoming breakdance event like cause I'm a graphic designer on the side so I, I made them a poster for free it's like is that selfless kind of I is do but think, I do things like that all the time making people post it <laughs> do so, you yeah. how many posters do you make how oh, average oh, about one an hour one an hour yeah oh, man so we should go into business together <laughs> I think we could make yeah. some money as graphic designers so do you think it it's good to be good no do you prefer being bad yeah well I'm a bad boy yeah bad boy <laughs> I'm a bad boy to my soul bad boy thick thighs yeah PCs. so like right now you, you wouldn't know it because I'm not wearing my leather jacket and my sunglasses but most of the time, Pimp. I'm a bad boy. You are a bad boy, aren't you? Bad boy. So, I do <laughs> like to do good things, um, but ultimately, I prefer to stand in front of a rock. Yes. And have limited discussions with people in, in that area with me about that rock. Right, and just climb. Yeah, and rock, ignore everything. Rock. Yeah. So, nothing virtuous, nothing good. <laughs> I just, I, I guess just... being super support mode, spotting people is a good thing, and helping yeah. people, being, being super communal. Yeah, but non-communicative, though. <laughs> no talking. I hate talking. Yeah. I hate it. Yeah, I might just go, move your left foot. <laughs> move it somewhere, <laughs> but not there. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Um, okay, so our recent day, we, we had a... a this Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, we went to Saturday. we went to Cromlech to meet a gnarly little bastard mm. who was camping out there through Storm Car or Car, whatever the fuck it's called. Oh yeah. Um, so we yeah, went to Cromlech Boulders to meet him. Yeah. Who he wasn't there wherever he was at. <laughs> <laughs> Cromlech Boulders is in <laughs> Snowdonia, uh, Lamberis Pass, um, and. We got there and had maybe 10 minutes of a climb yeah. session, but it was pretty poor it weather. It was shit. Yeah, it really. So we got rained off, we went to Paris Elder's Cave, which I didn't yeah. know was an hour, an hour drive from there, yeah. which is okay for the road trip home, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And it was one of the weirdest days I've ever been It at. was, but we saved the day. We saved it. We saved the day. I really had one of the, one of the best really climbing session. yeah, sessions yeah, yeah. and really felt like climbers, like that atmosphere with people... <laughs> Like towards the end, it was getting annoying because there was a lot of travel on the only climb that we could do in that case. So we've talked about the left wall traverse before and, and Paracelis. Just before we get into that bit, we turned up to <laughs> Land of No, and yeah. on the Great Hall, oh there's a fucking rally. Yeah, like a rally race car rally. So we don't even know whether we can get to the cave. Yeah. So then we have to go pay for parking, which is like five, which is not much more than the. So then we got to walk through Land of yeah, No, got to, through the through a town population. Yeah. With boulder pads all over us, looking like idiots. Well, it's like a fifteen minute walk, everywhere. and for some reason the sun just started shining. It's crazy. So we're in we're in the mountains, ready to do some awesome stuff. All we're getting is rain and wind. We hit the coast. Beautiful sunshine. The sun comes out, and then we go and sit in a cave. But you can still for see hours all the fucking clouds on the mountains yeah you can you can it, well, like a cave yeah it was just so, great weather so we would get our way to the cave after going across the headland yeah, and yeah. there's like at that point there's maybe six or seven people in the cave by the end of the day there's about 15 people and out of that 15 people I would say 13 of them all they could do is left wall yeah, <laughs> yeah. Else. There's, it, it's such a hard it's the busiest place. left wall's ever been yeah 
Like if if you don't if if we get any new listeners that don't know our recent stuff with the cave or know what the cave is, it's it's called Paracelsus Cave. It's a crag in Landudno, and it's got the I think Dan you said to me once it's got the highest, highest concentration of area. hard climbs in the smallest area. There's nothing above a six C plus or a six C. There's nothing, and there's nothing only above. one. There's nothing. There's nothing. Sorry, there's nothing below a six C plus, and there's only one six C plus. Then there's a seven A, and then it's just up there's a couple there. of seven. There's a few seven A's, and then it there? just goes. So if anyone's interested, just look up Alex Magos climbing there, and then look up Psych Mike, our local hero oh, climbing yeah, there. Psych Mike. And like there's some other guys that climb there that, that do yeah. huge takes, but for me that's like. And I think the the climb there that people go to is called the pilgrimage. No, that's what it? Luis that's Reno one? is the pure Luis Reno. Line, but oh, okay. pilgrimage is another one. Which that's is the like, one that you hear the story about because it, it it's, so it's called beautiful. that because there's like a guy from Scotland who every year for years would make a trip, a pilgrimage down to this cave just to try and get this one, one uh, route, and he's he's the guy that. Yeah, made the route right, and then Magos has got a route there, and then Sykes, the first person to, I think Sykes repeated pilgrimage. Maybe not the first, but not many people repeat it. Oh wow! And okay. then Sykes was the only person to repeat Magos. What grade is pilgrimage? Do you know? V fourteen. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> Jesus, man. Big. One day, I'd l- I can't wait till the double digits, man. Oh. Just one double digits be such You're a happy, big bro. moment in your so, climbing career. We did Paracelsus for day out, and I've done the left wall shot hole traverse before. And so that's you a seven A version of the you traverse. and Tom were working it, and we got uh, for me personally that was the best day climbing I've ever had without getting a single climb. It's good it's project shit. It it was really and things were linking up. Yeah. I was projecting just moves over and over, just working them through. And I've got the first four moves of that seven A traverse dialed. And then there's that one final move that links to the big flake. And oh man. And I can do it by itself. I just don't have the strength after those moves. Good, isn't it? Yeah it's good. I can't wait to get it man. It's gonna be so good. So that was it. Was a pretty fucking good day. It was, man. It was a really it was good awesome, day. Man. Yeah, and like it'd be nice to get down there with a little gang in not the not like pretty conditions like that. But there's so much on the mm. own that no, like there's so much. Yeah. There's pillboxes, pigeon cove boulders, pigeon cave boulders, whatever they're called. Was oh, there more? Bo- what? There's tons of boulder on it. Is there? Why don't yeah. we go more boulder? The caves like what everyone goes for, but right. some of the bouldering still like seven. Eight. Is there bouldering up at the top? I don't know. There's boulder around the corner. Like pillbox. actual boulders, or is no, it all no, cliff face all, stuff? It's all face stuff. You got pillbox. Yeah. That's pretty good. But you got boulders down the bottom, then. Yeah, on the coast. Yeah, coastal. Bo- yeah, but that's so. It's not uh, that far. But, yeah, but they don't seem like they're well travelled or are, yeah. well used. Really, yeah, it's just it's just tidal. I've just never heard of them until right now. Right now, you don't you don't look at anything. What? Like I'm looking at you right now. Yeah, yeah, but like I'm I, looking at the tea. Yeah, fair enough. I'll give you that. <laughs> so you we have to give me that. We had give it me. A direction for this evening. An yeah. erection direction. And an erection direction. Yeah. Well, saying that, should we get on to it then? Let's get on to the erection direction. Topic, Let's get topic right of the week. This is the topic of the week. Oh, I'm going to give you erection. This week's topic of the week is Valentine's special. Valentine's. Valentine. Will you be my Valentine, Pete? No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. Come back. No. You can't, um, no, because no. my Valentine's Who's, Day plan oh, is yeah. better than yours. No, it's not. For sure, yeah. No. So, uh, before we get into Valentine's Day, uh, who's, who's the guy that owns all the gyms from, from Dragon's Den? Something Valentine. Bannantine. Duncan Bannantine. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He deserves a good Valentine's Day. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. He fucking does. He's a sad man. So that means he deserves a good one? Yeah, he's a sad, angry man. So why does that mean he deserves a good Valentine's because Day? Because you've got to give men like that... Space, space to breathe. Space <laughs> to breathe. And then maybe if he had a really good Valentine's Day, he'd flip around and be a really nice bloke. Oh, yeah. He just needs someone to love him. Have you ever Everyone's read a book called The Bear Cage? No. <laughs> no. Exactly. <sighs> well, I knew you'd say that. Well, have you ever read, have you ever read <laughs> the book called The Monkey Puzzle? Oh, yeah. yeah oh. It's like a three-year-old book. No, it? it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. The pitch isn't nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, Duncan Valentine, yeah, he gets a good one. Um, you, our Valentine's Day plans. Valentine's Day plans. 
I'm me and TJ and Barney. And Barney. Because all girlfriends your girlfriends are all girlfriends away are fucked out off of the country. Because they all hate you. So we're going to cook a beautiful meal for each other and watch Wes Anderson Can I films. Come? No. Oh, please. No. Oh, please. You and Plum, no. Oh. What's your plan, Pete? My, Don't my, have one. Hey, my plan's going to be amazing. Amazing. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get an A4 piece of paper. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to walk outside and pick up bits of nature. And I'm going to get a prit stick and put the pieces of, of nature on that card. I'm going to write to Plum, Happy Valentine's Day. And then we're going to have a great night. Because of the card? Uh, it could, mainly because of the card, yeah. Because yeah. she'll be like, oh! Well, it sounds like a really good plan. Yeah. I'm and then, bad, oh, bad oh, good plan. <laughs> other than that, we're going to make some food. And then... Uh, I think we might go. This is this is a bit cute, but we might go to the first place that we like went on a date. Here, my house. Is that the first place we came on a date? Bristly Ridge. Bristly, we're going back to Bristly Ridge. <laughs> back to Bristly Ridge. That would so, be a good Valentine's. The reason I wanted to talk about Valentine's Day, yeah. other than your our shit plans, yeah, was Valentine's Day climbing, climbing. Like that's like they did singles night and things in the hangar. Oh yeah, last Valentine's Day they did yeah. that, didn't they? But what a good thing to do on a date. Mm, yeah, go climbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever been on a climbing date? Well, kind of, yeah. No, no. But have you ever been on a climbing like date, like a first per, like you, you've, like as a date, you've not just met up with your girlfriend so and we, gone climbing. When me and Becky were meet, like getting to know mm. each other. We went the roaches. Yeah, fair play. Yeah, it's a date. Yeah, it is. Fair play. Yeah. And th- that was a good day. Yeah, you've not done that. I have. But not really. Whoa. I have. <laughs> I went to the hangar, though. How was it? <laughs> it was uh, indoors. It was okay. It's your brother, though, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's nice. I know he's really hot, but... Yeah, he's nice. Yeah. He's a nice guy. I'm so warm in this jumper. Oh, yeah. Oh, my take God. Off. It's <laughs> so <laughs> hot. But I've only got a jumper on, yeah, so I'm going to be off, naked. Yeah. 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 It's Valentine's special. I'm allowed Valentine's to get special. It's getting hot naked. under the collar. Yeah. But talking about Valentine's... Whoa. Do you remember the doubles climbs that the yeah. climbing hanger did? Where you've got to hold the hands with someone and like get around it together. Do you guys... That's a cool idea. Like you, if you're single, if you're mingling, if you've got a boyfriend and girlfriend, Valentine's Day, get climbing. Yeah, man. Do get some climbing. S- get some doubles climbs filmed. And- have, you ever, have you ever taken a um, non-climber climbing on a date? Um, no, I've not. Because you see that sometimes in the hangar. Like, people meeting up. Uh, like it's always one person is so into climbing and then they're like do you want to come climbing on a date with us and like most people because they're nice at first are like oh yeah 100% um, but yeah I've, I've seen do, a few of our friends do you think it's a good first that. date I think it's quite intense at our level for like if say we were single and we brought a, like a girl that wasn't a climber into the hangar and started climbing yeah um, and we're surrounded by all our friends people that know us and also we're just quite strong at climbing and we love doing hard shit it's quite an intense what about two novices oh two yeah yeah if, you, if you're both climbers oh that. it's yeah 100% like when me and Plum started dating we would well when we started like talking and flirting and stuff it was all like we'd make sure that we'd meet up at the hangar at the same sort of time and just have like a nice session together it was well cute so that, you're just talking about being boyfriend and girlfriend now yeah okay Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's special. Valentine's special. So, mm. I, I, I see some couples climbing a lot in yeah. there. And it, could you be with someone who isn't a climber? Or? Uh, you know what? I honestly um, don't think I could. They, they, they would either have to be a so climber forgiving. or so forgiving, like extremely chill. Because on the weekends, if it's sunny, I want to go climbing. In the weekdays, in the evening, it, no matter what the weather is, climbing. I want to go training. So, yeah, like they'd have to be so chill and just willing to just like see me for an hour at like twelve o'clock at night before. And that's bed. it. And that is it. And that is literally it. That's literally it. It's, it's such a weird yeah. conundrum because I know some people I've spoken to don't yeah. want a girl from that climbs because they want that world for them. That makes sense, you know. And I kind of get it, but then ultimately we put so much time into that world. Yeah. That Do you think it would be healthy, though, maybe, to have a, a girlfriend that's separate from it that you have the time away from it? 
I, I mean, it's hard to say because we both have amazing girlfriends that are into climbing, and yeah, but so there's so many. Benefits. The devil's advocate side, yeah, fair enough. Maybe it's healthy, but ultimately, though, I like someone who validates your me hobbies, and then no, no, yeah. allows me to be mad and appreciates mm. me being mad for what I love. Yeah, but then, um, I, I, I just couldn't do it. It's like I've got loads of good friends in this world that don't climb. Yeah, and making time for them to do city stuff yeah I find really fucking dull half the yeah. time yeah I find city stuff so dull nowadays that's what I love my, my closest friends have dinner with go yeah, for a walk yeah, with yeah. maybe go hiking cool yeah. introduce the climbing but my my outdoorsy friends yeah what are you doing tonight brother yeah. I'm gonna get this climb and then get fucked up and it's like that's that's yeah. the plan I want and if you get <laughs> when you say fucked up you mean fuck our bodies up in any, so, in any sense just like destroy yeah, yourself have a few drinks eat too much paella yeah you know, whatever comes to mind. Yeah, like, you're cold again. Yeah, I'm. you know what? It's so weird. It's I'm just talk, isn't it? Like, it was heating up, <laughs> spicy, and then... Well, we were talking drop. about dating in the hangar. And got, got your nipples up. hard. Yeah, and then now we're just talking about our friends. If you ever see Pete in the hangar, like, <laughs> honestly, he's not body conscious or anything, just don't look at his nipples. <laughs> he's really Don't sensitive. look at them! <laughs> it's so sensitive. They're tiny! <laughs> I'm so scared! They're yeah. tiny! <laughs> So no, why I, did we want to talk about Valentine's Day's climbing thing? I think it's just um, it's just because it's Valentine's Day soon. Oh, this is. is being released on Valentine's Day, oh. and I think ba- basically what I wanted to say is if um, you are a climber, which you will be if you listen to this, go on a date at a climbing gym. It's just amazing, beautiful. Yeah, do or that. Out, no outdoors. And if you ever had an excuse to take like up something a bit cooler, yeah, go as a first date like Valentine's or go yeah. to a, a rekindle your failing marriage yeah go yeah. climbing and at least then if it's failing and it fails yeah then you're in a new pool of people so I've got a few do you know the um, yeah you just reminded me of something when you said failing marriage you failed marriage <laughs> no my mum and this dad this isn't no. <laughs> what <laughs> what are you doing I to my mum and dad I man? wasn't going to bring up your mum and dad at all it's about my hair Jeez, no, this is not about <laughs> damn why are you so paranoid? This isn't about your hair. Jesus. Let's get it out then. <laughs> Spit it out. So, um, the thing with being bold is... So oh. No, do you know what's really cute? Is that, that family that go climbing at the hangar. Oh. There's a... So, do you know on my date with Becky? Yeah. We saw them in the roaches. No! Such an iconic They've got a little name. baby and they bring Such her into a the... Such nice little family. Oh, and they're so strong, both of them. The baby like, as well, man. The baby's so strong. Crazy strong. Rip your face off. Just little she's chimpanzee. like bananas, man. That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, but how cool is that? For like, there's this couple that it's climb... So wholesome. And they're like... Everyone thinks it as well when they walk into the gym. You Everyone's some bastards. Oh, it's so cute, man. And this the dude is so strong, isn't he? Ah, he's handsome and he's nice. Yeah. And he's- his wife's really attractive and really lovely yeah. and really nice and strong and the baby's probably just the exact same. <laughs> it's going to be baby. exactly the same. It's like, yeah. you've done well there. Uh, that's a cool Valentine's story. It's like yeah. seeing a family climb I love, together. I, I and bet then, you they met climbing in the roaches. In the roaches? Yeah, for sure. You just know it. I know it. Oh, I know so that cute. that was their <laughs> first date. As I well. know that. Like, you just know it in your heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can sense heart. it. You, the thing with you, Dan, is you're really sen- sen- sensory. He was trying things. on the cut diner. Was he? Oh, man. We should talk to them. I'm going to have to, not yeah. gonna, we're gonna You're going to have romantic. to. Yeah, yeah. But it's really cool seeing them, because they'll they'll both try a climb. It's so And whilst the other one's looking after the baby. And then they'll swap. And then they'll, oh, it's so cute. Yeah, Pete's yeah, broody, by the way. It's fucking weird. Oh, man. So weird. It is weird, isn't it? I'm yeah. not that broody. It's broody creepy, though. It's like creepy nah, broody. I'm not broody. It is. It's like, we're in... <laughs> we're climbing, man. Stop looking at the kids. <laughs> 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 you weirdo. Right. I just want a child. <laughs> Give me your kid. I'm barren. <laughs> Give me a kid. Um, right. Should we jump on to... Yeah. Shall we test the microphones? <laughs> yes. te- we off the record and it's dead crackly. Let's test it. That, that is incredibly loud. Don't do it, Daniel. <laughs> It'll ruin the podcast. Yeah, like that. Let's get into... Business. Question time with Danko and Peter. Danko and Pete. Dan questions. Questions. Who's got questions? That was really bad. Yeah, it's a shit one, yeah. Yeah, let's look at our Instagram. So recently I just put on that we're recording tonight and ask a question and the best question will get read out on the podcast. Um, but we've not spoke about this until now, so I'm just going to read a few of them and then we'll choose the best one and answer that one. Just answer them as you go. Okay. 
We've got oh, another one from Fat Neck. Is there? Yeah, I love oh, Fat Neck. I didn't check anything today. You should have. <sighs> okay, how many nicknames? <laughs> how many nicknames does Owen McShane have? Well, I don't know anything about this. Who is Owen? Oh, Owen. So, from my world, yes, I call him the wizard. Yes, the wizard. Um, I know he's got the soured O's thing. The soured O's. Which is his baking. Because he's a uh, sourdough he's a baker. baker. makes sourdough. Yeah. Um, I also know the nickname he doesn't like. What's that? Is um, <laughs> Scouse Owen. Scouse Owen? Because he's Welsh. Oh, that's so like funny. This, like <laughs> Lee Barres always calls him Scouse Owen. He fucking oh, Scouse Owen. <laughs> That's so funny. That's really funny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what about... Uh, should we make up some more? Let's make up at least three more now. Yeah, Winkle Picker. Winkle Picker. Yeah. Um, vegan Long Arms. Vegan Long Arms. <laughs> is he vegan? He is, yeah. Is he? Yeah. Vegan Long Arms. That's yeah. a good one. That should be his Instagram name. Vegan Long Arms. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Baron Von Z- Z- Zilly Boy. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Baron von Zilly Boy. Zilly Boy yeah. And he has to make a climate pack sale called Zilly Boy. Zilly, uh, no, yeah. Okay, from, a question better. from Danko Winterbear. Oh, wow. Why do you exist? Oh, wow. Were you asking the podcast that? Me that? You yourself that? I don't remember asking Very that, so. introspective um, question. I exist to hate. You. Oh, wow. <laughs> How <laughs> so, are you? It's so dark. Uh, this is why we're such a good team, because. I also exist to hate <laughs> Fuck the world <laughs> <laughs> Okay we've got a question from TJ Wetting Steel What? TJ Wetting Steel um, Not a question But after seeing your Instagram Is it bad? My first was My first thought was Hmm He didn't sound bald <laughs> I told you everyone's on it <laughs> It's always about me being bald. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's so funny. Yeah, we do even so plan that. That's Dan, so Dan, funny. For people in the joke, Dan plays this character occasionally, but he's he's rolling his eyes now because it's not really a character. It's my life. Where he acts really paranoid that he's bald. Bald lives and matter. Every, <laughs> he'll be like, he'll be like, B L M. B L M. He'll often say things like. The under under uh, thing in Hollywood, like there's not enough they bald are. actors. <laughs> Name five. Okay, Vince Vaughn. Yeah, um, Vince Vaughn's not bald. He is. He, he is. shaved his in fucking s- head for a film. In that cell bo- he shaved his head for a film. Okay, the other Vince. Vince. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. That's yeah, it. Good yeah. one. Vin, Vin Diesel. Yeah. Bruce Wayne. Two. Bruce Willis. <laughs> Two. Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Wayne you keep naming someone with fucking hair ja- first, Jason so. Statham okay that's fucking three. Jason Statham on then um, um, you've got flight dude um, flight. equalizer equalizer you know the guy um, no idea black dude who uh, was in oh uh, Idris Elba not in, no but there's another he's not bald Idris Elba he's not bald Idris Elba uh, you've got freaking Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel Jackson. Four. Morpheus. He's not bald. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's, there's, have you seen The Equalizer? No, I've seen the original TV series. It was like in the um, 70s or something. He was in a film called Flight. Yeah, good story. Denzel bit- Washington. He's not bald. <laughs> He's, He's not fucking bald, man. <laughs> You're like crying about it. And then the other thing Dan will be is like... Didn't even get to five. We'll be... Yeah, we did. You didn't. I did. Okay, all right. So five, name name all the actors with hair. Oh, <laughs> every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so people always right. talk about rights. I think it's so easy. Let's just move bald on. Bald lives, Dan's, man. Dan's getting very UKIP on this it's issue. Like it's like UKIP. Bald lives, man. <laughs> UPIP. <laughs> You've give me a hair transplant. <laughs> okay, give me a hair transplant. Oh, and so we we also did a little. Ask um, me a question. Or I'm leaving. No, we we've done the questions, but we did a test on our Instagram where I posted three photos of boulders around the world, and it was like a no- general knowledge question for all the climbers out there. And there's one only one person who answered all three correctly. Only one person. So the first photo. Donald Trump. No, idiot. One, the first person I posted, first person, first, ah, first photo I posted Daffy Duck. was Rainbow Rocket yep, in France, easy. and a lot of people got that. It's so iconic. So I won't name everyone, but just give us the uh, winner. What's the next one? Lone next Boulder. One, 
was he got the line right as well, which is hard from that photo. There's a photo of the Paracellus Cave lip surface, lip service route that we were trying, and only one person got it. It's awesome. And then the last one was the Lone Boulder, and someone Dino in it, and it was that Jack Farrow. Oh man! So it was Blockhead of the Week last week. Was the only guy who got all three. I've read he's a well travelled individual in, with him in the Baldwin world he climbs a lot and he's good yeah. and he's dynamic Very and true. he's quite charismatic in yeah. our interactions which yeah, yeah. He's, t- he's sorry climber dudes yeah. some of you guys aren't all that charismatic some yeah. of you are legends yeah. speak to Jack Farrow yeah, yeah. man knows what he's doing Yeah, he seems cool and he's dead engaged which is awesome so Jack man he's not climbing yeah. keep, keep smashing it and we'd love to climb let's just send pictures of rocks to Jack that's what we'll do from now on just what's that <laughs> Um, so yeah well done Jack only dude to do it and then oh you did ask enough uh, question oh fat neck just always getting involved hang on you you posted a photo of Pete's Eats yeah. and asked for thoughts on Pete's Eats <laughs> someone so, recommended another cafe who the fuck that was oh Jesus Louis Louis Seddon asked uh, what what do Pete's eat I know and I got thought I, was, I saw that one yeah what, what do, you, do Pete's eat no but you Pete or that Pete you pee, we know you eat. You eat a lot. I eat a lot, eat a lot of, of big boy. A lot of um, big things. Big things. A lot of. But uh, what's that cake called? Chocolate cake. No, no, no. It begins with an F. Peanut cake. No, it's got loads of raisins in it. It's quite long. Focaccia. <laughs> yeah, focaccia. Yeah. For gauge go. So, yeah. Pete, what? But what does Pete eat? Pete eat. Um, what Welsh Pete eat? Pete eat. What does Pete eat? Pete eat. He must just eat cheesy chips all the time. You think so? Yeah. Must, and rock. I agree. Sprinkled with rock salt. No, but rock salt or rock from London. No. <laughs> uh, Ans- answer me. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm what did Fatneck say? Fatneck. Fatneck said the first place I ever ever had cheesy chips. Oh. We got Cackle said the place of dreams. Yeah. Lister Sens said better than Dave's eats I've heard. Fuck yeah. Dave's eats can go fucking. Dave knows enough. nothing. Dave knows fucking nothing. TJ Jackson said filthy mountain energy. Yeah. Because you just put the thoughts so and good. he was like filthy mountain energy. It's so true. All the people in there are just filthy mountain I goats. love Pete's eats. And then this dilatory said go to Mayfon instead. That's it. That's the dude. So I think I've been to Mayfon. Is that the one down the road? Yeah, but it just looks like it's more expensive. It's, it's less. It's more boring. Yeah, yeah. It, after a big mountain day, you don't want to go there. You want a PT? I went there after. Um, oh, I did go there after that half marathon, but it was nice. It was chill. Half marathon. I was with my girlfriend. A bit classier. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Fat Neck also said what you said. What were your 2019 highlights? Fat Neck said meeting you guys. Oh, <laughs> he's such a cute oh, guy. Fat, Fat Neck, Neck. come around for dinner. Yeah, man. Let's have that'd be, so, that'd be so nice how funny would that be for dinner both of them round for dinner just right here yeah man nice tea nice tea that'd nice be tea so and snacks lovely that was really nice yeah brilliant that was wholesome that was a wholesome podcast bro that was really nice um, anything you've got planned for this week bro what's in the pipeline um, you're off tomorrow with me we're going climbing aren't we <laughs> uh, no yeah no. can't do it man unfortunately but um just yeah no training cool gonna train really hard tomorrow night cool train story, really hard bro. on Tuesday cool Thursday story. and then this weekend yeah I'm not doing anything no. going on a cycle actually dead boring what are you doing you got any plans in the pipeline um, Valentine's night with the boys oh yeah and then Saturday Sunday I'm free free as can be you're free as a bit um, so Saturday you guys are out aren't you yeah I'm not. You're not. I'm gonna go climbing on Saturday and then see little lady when she's back from Kilimanjaro. Oh, lovely! So There'll be yeah. stories there from her. Yeah, we should interview her. Yeah, we should. Let's get her back. Yeah. let's get her on. Uh, interview her. That'd be good. Yeah, man. Beautiful. All right then. Thanks, guys. Guys, follow me at Pete underscore Rick. Follow me, Danco Winterberg. Follow the podcast at BH Pod and follow Dino Club at Dino Club. And submit Dino. Follow them all. Dinos. Yeah. Submit Dino. And follow our Enzo method. And yeah. Go do that. And follow all of our friends that we talk about because yeah. we're all legends. With that, guys. Good night. Good night. God bless. Double Dino the Micro Cripper.